Hi friends, welcome back to the Saffron Box. My name is Yamini and today in this video I shall be talking about Rahu in the sign of Scorpio. So I am doing this series of Rahu through signs and till now I have covered uh, Aries to Libra. That is I made 7 videos in this series and today is the 8th video uh, where I am be where I will be talking about Rahu in the sign of Scorpio. So I'm talking about your natal uh, chart, your birth chart over here, the placement which you have in your birth chart. So if you have Rahu in the sign of Scorpio and how do you see it? Uh, wherever in your chart you have the number 8 written, that is wherever Scorpio falls and if you find Rahu over there, I'm talking about that particular placement. So before I go ahead, let me just remind you, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and if you like the content, do not forget to hit the like button as well. So. Rahu in the sign of Scorpio is first of all a very very interesting placement you know I would I have met uh, people like this but I would love to you know see more people having Rahu in the sign of Scorpio because uh, one uh, Rahu is a very you know uh, it's, a, it's a shadow planet it deals with a lot of impulsive energy uh, it deals with all our obsessions in life and on the other hand, we have Scorpio, which is a sign of transformation. Scorpio is the sign which rules over death, renewal, regeneration, mystery. And then when these two combine, so you know, when you have Rahu in the sign of Scorpio, uh, it's a, a mix of these two energies together. So what happens here? Such people tend to uh, explore the Scorpio side of things very well. So they have an exploring nature, they have a nature of seeking things around them. So they like to explore, they like to understand what is happening around them. And this I'm talking about understanding things which are hidden. So they would not have interest in very mundane things around them. They would like to take interest in things which are hidden, things which are not visible to the naked eye. So people who are in deep scientific research people who are in hidden sciences you know astrology occult those who are into mining those who are into uh, you know they like to open up things so uh, uh, they make for good surgeons because uh, surgery requires opening up things opening up the body seeing what is happening around and fixing it so it's in a way it's transforming th something it's in a way renewal of the body right so uh, they like to deal with any such things where the layers have to open up and they have to understand what is happening and then fix it also somewhere so um, and since Scorpio is ruled by Mars uh, the Mars energy is also uh, you know it it also combines in so uh, they have this you know they put this energy into such matters they also have a strong you know emotional energy as well which should be controlled very well because scorpio is you know a watery sign and water means emotions so rahu here could give an explosive energy you know could, could give a high on emotional energy emotional surges which needs to be controlled which needs to be well managed and how does it get managed with the sign of Scorpio with all the you know transformations renewals growth which come with the sign of Scorpio so one uh, generally you know any person with this kind of a placement tends to have life experiences which take them up and down which take them towards renewal uh, regeneration towards transformation so uh, they tend to you know they might be in a normal nine to five job doing mundane things but somewhere in the point you know somewhere at some point in time in life especially if the rahu mahadasha also comes in or if the eighth lord also has his dasha uh, going on such people uh, transform themselves so it could be physical transformation it could be a total you know mental um, spiritual transformation but some kind of a transformation always happens here layers of your personality open up and you see something else coming out you see experience something else totally so this energy is very good for uh, spiritual transformation for occult sciences for uh, studying astrology 
for going deep into any kind of a philosophy right this energy is also good for uh, you know people who are into martian energy you know so soldiers uh, athletes wherever the mars energy is utilized well so you will uh, you know if you see charts uh, you'll find many people with rahu in scorpio uh, who are into any kind of a martial arts these people make for good detectives because they like to uh, you know explore stuff they make for good researchers and any such profession so basically uh, going into detail going into depth and bringing out the martian side these kind of a professions also suit them very well and uh, one thing which is very very important to note here is that uh, one needs to be ready to transform so one should not be you know the way to handle this energy is not to be very rigid not to be very stuck on ideas because somewhere or the other in your lifetime you know you will have to undergo some renewal some transformation so be open to change and take life as it is rather than being stuck and not willing to change understand one thing that change is constant and be open to it right so that's how you handle this energy of rahu in the sign of scorpio so i shall come back with now uh, rahu in the sign of sagittarius in my next video and till then uh, stay blessed keep watching the videos and see you soon bye bye